Hey guys, it's Cassie and today I'm going to be talking about the luxury items that you should never buy full price, okay? Because they always end up in the sale. We have got so many sales ahead of us. We've got Singles Day, we've got Black Friday, Cyber Weekend, pre-Christmas sales, Christmas sales, all of that. And this video is to help you be prepared, get a better idea of which brands are worth getting in the sale. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down that subscribe turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. Okay, before we jump into this video, there is one thing that you need to really capitalize on those sales and make sure that you don't miss any sales um, on items that you've been looking at. And that is Karma, previously known as ShopTagger. If you didn't know, Karma is a Chrome extension and an app that ensures that you don't miss a price drop or a discount on the items that you've been lusting after. I don't need to tell you that this is a fantastic tool, especially for the sales that we've got coming up to make sure that you don't miss out on any discounts on the items that you've been looking at for a while and are on your wish list, but also to plan gifts for people. I don't know, if you can save a little bit here and there, why not, why not? If you cast your minds back not that long ago, I bought this fabulous little era bag. I love it. It's such an easy, great little piece. I managed to get this for 40% off because Karma notified me that there was a coupon code available and guess what? I got in, I got it, I got out. In case you don't want to miss out on any of these deals, to download Karma, it is 100% free. You are going to go to the description box under this video, click on that link. It's going to ask you to create an account. You go ahead, do that, add your credentials. Once that is all done, then you are going to go ahead and download the Chrome extension. And guess what? That is it. So next time you are surfing on the internet and something takes your fancy, you're going to head over to the little icon, click on it, save it to your wish list, and then you will be notified via push notification or email whenever that item has a relevant coupon code, goes on sale, or comes back in stock. Here is one of my lists. These are all private. You can have as many as you want. You can organize them however you want, and it just helps you plan your shopping a bit better. Karma does all the heavy lifting. So whenever you're at a checkout, it will automatically scan the web for any applicable coupon codes and apply them so you can make sure that at that time you're checking out for the best price. Now this only works on the computer, so make sure that you have the Karma Chrome extension. It is a must. And also with select retail partners, Karma will give you cash back based on what you buy and also donate to a good cause. As I mentioned, Karma is free to download. Head to the description box below for the link. And thank you Karma for sponsoring this section of today's video. Now I have six brands in this video that I'm going to be covering, but I did also want to say that there are always exceptions. There are always going to be times when you love something so much that you don't even want to risk whether or not it's going to go on sale that you buy it. Also all of these brands tend to have maybe specific hot or trending items that sell out before sale season even happens. So keep that in mind. Now, Balma is a brilliant brand to buy during the sale because the majority, if not all, of the collection tends to go in the sale. So you can get some really great deals. And this isn't like the weird and wacky seasonal pieces that make it in. We're seeing a lot of the kind of classic Bauman pieces that make it into the sale as well. So if we take something like the famous Bauman blazer that is very much seen as a kind of classic luxury item, a lot of people have it, swear by it, think it's almost like an essential luxury item to have. Generally, the sort of brighter colours or the non-black colours would make it into the sale. Any kinds of variations of the jacket that were maybe in different fabrics to the to the wool blend one, maybe a tweed, something like that, they always make it into the sale. But recently we've also been seeing the black versions make it in as well. So there are lots of good deals to be had if you're looking for the classic Bowman blazer or if you're looking for another Bowman blazer. Do wait for the sales and see what makes it in there. Also Bowman has like a range of t-shirts as well. They always go into the sale. Another kind of item that Balma has that is very famous and very expensive usually are the mini dresses. I love me a good Balma mini dress. Usually they are so overly embellished, they're tailored, they've got strong shoulders, they make you feel powerful, and who run the world? I do, right? They make you feel that way. However, they're always 
in the thousands. There are some less embellished versions that are sort of between 1000 and 2000 but mainly they're in the thousands. Now I have a Balmain dress I got a fantastic deal on. I was in Saks in New York at the end of 2019 and this dress was from $2000 to what's that? $600? <gasps> Stop. I'll insert a picture of me wearing it here, living my best life. Truly, what a deal. Any Balma, wait for the sale. Brand number two, Versace. I am wearing it today. I always talk on my channel about Versace clothing, always making it into the sale, all of that. It is worth a wait. Like I said, there are some hot items that are exceptions to these rules. For example, the Versace Bratz heels. They sold out, they're never going to make it into the sale, that kind of thing. But generally, the clothing does. It tends to be everything from the collection, from the shouty, very Versace pieces, to the sort of all black with little gold elements and little gold detailing and all of that. There really is quite a right, wide range that makes into the Versace sale. And if there is anything on your list that you want to get, I would suggest not buying it from anywhere except the Versace website, because they tend to from what I've seen in previous years, have the biggest discount. They tend to go all in for a 50% off. Don't settle for a 30, a 35, okay? You wanna go straight to the 50, and Versace themselves seems to be giving us that. As we know, there is a jacket that I have my eye on. It is over here, and I saw it, I tried it on in person and everything, and I thought, I just know that this is gonna make it into the sale, and I'm going to be annoyed if I buy this full price, and then it goes into the sale, and then I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that to me? You know, we all hate that feeling. So Versace is also one to keep your eyes open for. Brands number three are just smaller brands in general. Okay, so your less well-known, more up-and-coming brands tend to always make it into the sale. Zimmerman, for example, they tend to have a good sale. A lot of their like iconic dresses always tend to make it into the sale. You have to be fast with it but they do come at a discount. Brands like Casablanca, Dion Lee, Aquazura, Alessandra Rich, Alexandra Vauthier. If there are any of these iconic dresses that you want, wait for the sale because they always make it into the sale. The Attico as well, bits and bobs tend to go into the sale. So if there are any of those smaller brands that you're interested in, haven't bought from or want to try something, wait out for the sale and see what you can get there before buying full price. Brand number four. Good old British Burberry. Aside from some Burberry check pieces and the trenches, everything else tends to go on sale. And again, they're also a good one to go on their website because then you see the full range of everything on sale. Also like the scarves, they don't go on sale either really. But while the classic trench range doesn't go on sale, the seasonal trenches do. So if there's something a little bit different or a little bit interesting that you're after, definitely wait for the sale. You can really get some good deals on clothes, shoes and accessories. They recently have been doing a lot with their TB print. I think of tuberculosis every time. But they've been doing a lot with this print recently and I am predicting that a lot of that is going to go into the sale and a lot of that is for like silhouettes that they, that they do in the checked pattern as well but if for some reason the TB print is doing it for you. I would wait for the sale for that. I think you've got a good chance for anything that's not checked. There are some checked pieces that do go into the sale, but just generally, it tends to be a lot of those kind of like different sort of prints or colors. Brand number five, Balenciaga. This was one that last year we saw a lot of really popular or very big trending Balenciaga pieces go into the sale. I don't know if we're going to be seeing the same this year, but I have a feeling we are. So just keep that in the back of your mind. So last year we really saw the Balenciaga Triple S sneaker. We saw a lot of those go into the sale last year, as did we see a lot of the Balenciaga Speed Trainer. And not in crazy colours either. This was coming in blacks, neutrals, all of that. They were making it into the sale. So if you're not in a rush, I would see what makes it into the sale this time. If the item that you're looking for doesn't make it into the sale, then buy it full price, but then at least you know. Um, also with Balenciaga, the logo sweaters were making it into a lot of sales, as was the hourglass bag. Now the hourglass bag, I would say over the last year has really risen in popularity. But last year we saw it in pops of color, making it into the sale in different sizes. So the mini, mini ones, 
were in the sale 100%, some of the small ones as well, in pinks, pops of colour, things like that. So again, if the hourglass is on your wish list, I would keep an eye out. The last brand that I did want to cover today is Jacquemus. Oh, Jacquemus, what are we going to do with you? The clothing tends to go in the sale again the lot of it. So if you've had your eye on the tiny titty cardigan which has been extremely popular, if there's still any stock of it, you might find a good deal on one of those in the sale. But yes, Jacquemus closet clothing, a lot of it does go into the sale. They've got some really cute sweaters this year as part of the collection that I think are really nice and are worth getting if it's got a good deal on it. They also released some very expensive cropped pu puffer jackets. They look great. The price tag, maybe not so much, but again, maybe in the sale it might be worth going for. If for some reason Jacquemus shoes do it for you, once again, never buy those full price, okay? every single time the sale. Now let's talk about one of the most famous Jacquemus items, the Le Chiquito. Certain styles do make it into the sale. Some sell out before it gets the chance to even go into the sale, right? But generally, if you're wanting something a little bit out there, for example, I think the shearling ones will be making it into sales. I also think that the Montan version of the Le Chiquitos might also be making it into the sale again. So if you want something a little bit interesting, a little bit different, it might be your best chance to wait for the sale and see what crops up there. Let me know if you are looking out for anything from any of these brands from the upcoming sales. Let me know in the description box if you have any other suggestions of brands that go on sale a lot and where to look or whatever. We are here to share the knowledge. Don't forget to download Karma using the link in my description box. Thank you again to Karma for sponsoring a portion of today's video. I'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.